All right. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Dojo, and we are back with another LC video. There was supposed to be a live stream tonight, or last night if you're watching this the next day. Um, I had no confidence, so nobody really showed up either. So I kind of just like lost confidence, and I was just like, yeah. We're just going to do a reaction video. <laughs> we get more views that way. So, <laughs> we get more views and we put out better content that way. That way I can plan my things out. But without further ado, we just finished watching Last Cloudy TV 2021 Year End Special. Might I say, the special was actually very short. Like, it was, as y'all can see on the screen, it was only 56 minutes. It was just shy of an hour. And... Normally, the live streams are like an hour, like 15 or an hour and a half. But, uh, you know, end of the year, they just, they compressed everything, and they did it very well. Kit was by himself. Homie thugged it out. You know, Kit, I doubt you'll ever see this video, but if you do, you did an amazing job, my boy. And I'm looking kind of rough, but that's okay. But yes, yes, that, that, it was, it was an amazing live stream as always and man did they give us some information so without further ado let's get into it the first major announcement story we get new story yes yes Yes, yes, yes. New story. More crystals for the free-to-play players. We get to finally see what happened after this man, Kyle, and uh, homegirl, Leona, decided to, to Assassin's Creed leap of faith their way off of the uh, mountaintop because, you know, they got to uh, live. <laughs> They're getting chased by, what's her name, Malay? Yeah. They... So, new story. Coming in January. Probably... They didn't specify when in January. I'm assuming it's going to be, like, it's New Year's, so I'd assume immediately after maintenance. I think there's a maintenance, like, on December 31st. And then as soon as we get there, you know. Yeah, but we'll see. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. So, new story. I'm done. I'm going to stop babbling. Let's go. Let's, let's, just, let's just get into it. This music is fire, though. It is, why does it look like this? Hold on. Why is it like, why is it, hold on. Eh. I need her to look crisp. It is Sarah! Finally! <laughs> uh, well, I'm not going to say finally. I know everybody was thinking that it was going to be rolling, but I'm, I'm going to say that it's safe to say that Sarah... I'm, well... Yeah, no, I, it's, yeah, it's safe to say Roland is definitely going to be the third year anniversary unit. He has to be, like, I don't think, I don't think that they would just, yeah, I mean, skip over him. I don't think they would just, you know, grab him. And just be like, you know what, you're gonna come out. But not here, like, this, they, they wouldn't tease us like, well, it's eight. They, they wouldn't tease us like that. They wouldn't tease us like that. But let's go. That was 11 hits. Go back. What was that? Go back. 
What was that? I hit for 11 times. 11. We don't see the hit numbers for that. All right. That Did it knock him away? Here's our ultimate. Now, if you watched it, if you watched it, I think I'm talking a little bit too loud. Let me actually turn myself down a little bit. Pause that right there. I'm going to turn myself down a little bit. <clears throat> so, 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 so. Maiden of Binding Sarah Traits. While unit is alive, all allies damage cap plus 2,000. Battle start, apply a strength plus 35% boost to allies, excluding unit. Every 40 seconds, use 50 MP to reapply buff. Okay. Heaven's Guidance. Nullify Sorcerer Slayer. Killer and Slayer effects. HP recovery cap plus 3,000. When ally HP is restored by an active skill, apply a buff that restores 20% of restored HP after an amount of time. Oh my god. I'm not going to say that... I'm like... Why is my phone on the floor? I'm not going to say that theory of power creep. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say... Well... Nah, bro. Her and Theria decided to hit the fusion dance. Her and Theria, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Her and Theria decided to hit the fusion dance. Not her and Theria. Theria and Tim Kelly. But like, this is me speaking because I've seen all the buffs and everything. Her, Esten Theria and Tim Kelly hit the fusion dance and decided to give us. A person who was already here before them. That was a bad analogy, but uh, you'll see what I mean. Play. <laughs> I regret. All right, here we go. Here's our abilities. Skill: Ether Strike. Long range, medium area, light combo attack around unit and target enemy boost damage against god types obviously she like she said before she doesn't regret sealing lock seas but she does feel a sense of loss skill two, fill fender i feel like they could ha they could have definitely done better with that name apply a physical and magic attack damage plus 20 percent buff to allies okay yeah oh my god skill three ichi no kagura Restore moderate HP to all allies. So basically, Ether Wind or Ether Feather. And then her special is El Shara. Sh El Shara, Shara. Revive all incapacitated allies and greatly restore HP. Apply an all attribute damage plus 25. All attribute damage cap plus 35. Buff to allies. Tim Kelly. That's in theory. Been watching too much Dragon Ball. Hit the fusion dance, Sarah. It's beautiful. I love it. Let's go. <sighs> Can we talk about this music being a bop too? All right. Skills. Spirit Maiden's charisma. Give all allies the effect when restoring HP with unit's active skill plus 30% recovery. Only while unit is alive does not stack with other charismas. Obviously. My face is covering uh, two of the skills, but the second skill is called Heavenly Chakra. Continuous Grand Regeneration and Advanced Magic Circles effect to unit. Okay. The third skill that I'm completely covering is called Daybreak. HP recovery plus 10%. Duration of buffs plus bluffs. Duration of buffs plus 10% from units active skills. Now, this kind of caught me off guard. Here we go. Clouded Heavens. Special becomes able to deal damage and special damage cap plus 30k. Mm. But she still is like a support healer type, so I can't be. But 
Kote. <laughs> and then right under that, Yata no Kagami, <clears throat> or Yata no Kagami. Less likely to be targeted by enemies. Physical damage taken minus 20 when attacking with special apply strength, defense, and intelligence debuff. Debuff to God, <clears throat> debuff to God type enemies. Holy crap. Esoteric up three. Intelligence, mind, and MP up. Robe Mega Boost when a robe is equipped, mine plus 20%. Magical attack damage plus 10 and physical damage taken minus 10. Divinity Shield, which, take note of that word. Damage from divinity type enemies, god, dragon, spirit, and undead. Minus 20%. High vitality phaser, increase all allies HP cap plus 2000. And recover HP. And then, as her, you can see her skills at the bottom. MP up max, magic defense up max, arcane up four. Healing boost, healing high boost, wisdom's protection, immovable object, high level magic chant, archangel's blessing, sacred guardian, royal armor, maglion shield, auto heal, god heal, starlight heal, cure all, erase, high resurrection, grand protection, and magic castle. The amount of SC saves that she has. From just a movable object, high level magic chant, and Archangel's Blessing. That's just fire. I feel like... I feel like God heal. Uh, I might be tripping. And high resurrection. Let's continue. And then this arc is sexy. For all my Naruto fans. Say the name with me. Amaterasu. Arc trait, which we're, we're probably not going to get this arc. I'm going to just keep it a buck with you, and it hurts. This arc looks awesome. Light attack damage plus 15%. Most attacks are effective against undead types each time. Healing magic is used. Cut damage taken. Max minus 20% at times 10. Resets each wave if incapacitated. Light attack damage plus 2,000. HP recovery cap from active skills plus 2,000. This is gonna make A2 rolling. What are the light da what are the enemies with that deal with light damage? Kyle, maybe? Ooh, they're gonna make light damage. That's gonna be that's disgusting. Arc skill, powerful light attack against all enemies, damage cap plus 15k. Boost damage against undead undead types, revive all inca <laughs> incapacitated allies and greatly restore HP. Ooh. Yo, it's fire! Not just because she's a sun god. <laughs> Learnable skills. Undead geyser. High resurrection. You can finally teach high resurrection to other units. That's tough. Holy armor. Holy enhance. That looks like it's actually going to be kind of fire. Healing boost and god heal. And. Yo, they snapped, yo. And then. The sun god Magatama. Is the 100% arc ether award. Light magic attack damage plus 10%. Recovery magic plus 15%. Stats. Fifth, 75 MP. 55 <laughs> intelligence and 65 mind. That's cold. That MP, that MP stat is amazing. Too bad we won't have it. But that MP stat is amazing. Let's go. This arc looks so beautiful. Oh, she comes on the 30th. She comes in three days. Ooh, she comes in three days. Ooh. Oh, she comes in three days, yo. The gotcha. So, the Scent of Heroes Festival. Festival. I didn't I didn't notice that when I was yo what oh my god all right let's let's go let's continue descent of heroes festival step up descent of heroes festival so you already know what we do <laughs> you you already know what we doing we're getting this 
We're getting the, the step up. That's the immediate. That's an easy thirty k right there. I'll just keep it a buck. Easy thirty k. We're getting her. We're getting her. That's an easy thirty k. But let's get. Let's go. The Centaviros Festival. Step up the Centaviros Festival. Rate up, of course. The uh, main of Binding Sarah. Now I'm on to Amaterasu. Wow, I'm sorry, messing that up. New Year ticket gotcha. Draw pool. <clears throat> Maiden of Binding Sarah. Amaterasu are gonna previous like so basically um, New Year ticket gotcha. So it's like the 2.5 anniversary. That's what I was trying to reference. 2.5 anniversary where essentially essentially she's in the pool and every unit before her every like actual in-game unit like no collab units but every in-game unit before her is in the pool I don't believe that there's rate up it's on there I don't believe so um, of course, when we get an end game news, I'll also make another, I'll make a follow up video and, you know, we'll delve deep in because that's when they'll fully explain everything. So that's what we're waiting on. That should probably be up tomorrow after this video. So New Year's only one unit Tensman gotcha draw pool Ishida and Aldena Institute of Magic Arc and previous arcs. And you arcs are excluded. So I'm... And you are okay, so in this one, all the UR arcs are excluded, so I'm not summoning on this banner at all. I have Sheeta and Maha, and practically everything going back beyond like Shift Landsville and Eliza. So that I'm not worried about that at all. That's that that's an easy skip for me. Limit three. If you're re-rolling, I you could you're guaranteed to get a unit you might not get the doh unit that you want but you're guaranteed to get a unit and i mean lausius is definitely in there it's been more than six months they just added him to the start dash um they just added him to the start dash uh doh festival so you could get him from there so you you have time you have time you have time you literally have time. You got time. <laughs> it's right there. It's, it's right there. You have time. I, if you're mid game going into end game and depending on how much you, and I'll say it's spend or how much you uh, put towards the game or, uh, you know, how much you can, <clears throat> you know, you could test your luck. You can. All right, because it's not a bad deal. You're guaranteed one unit, and I'm I'm not gonna lie. When uh, Shift Lord Kyle dropped, when Shift Lord Kyle dropped before I got onto YouTube, I dropped uh, two summons. Well, I dropped I did all three, but I did the first one uh, just to see what unit I would get, and I ended up getting Sage Zekus, who I never had before, which was dope. So I was like, okay, I'll drop another one, and I got Spirit Maiden Theory. That's how I got both. That's how I got those two characters. And then the last one, I think I got a freaking, uh, freaking Logie or something. Which was cool, I already had him. But, like, it's not a bad thing, right? If you're missing a couple, like, <clears throat> the only DOH units that I'm missing are, like I said, Shift Lanceville, Shift Eliza, and I think Cyber Slayer Alice. Yeah, I'm missing those three. <clears throat> Put her in there, that's four, but... We could check her off immediately. Just gonna be honest, we can. That's easy check. That's easy check off. So I'm only missing three, <clears throat> but you know, let me stop flexing. And then they're bringing back the one you are and one hero guaranteed SSR plus. Our Tinsman gotcha part one, part two. It's paid. It's limited to one, obviously. Now this right here says part one and part two. <clears throat> so I want to know what these what like if anything really changes because if not then we're sending it off day one all right we're and it says part one and part two so obviously probably at the hmm, 
probably at that way Mark is going to be there. But yeah, we're doing all this day one. And <clears throat> I, I know that they got a lot of stuff going on, so I need to check the dates. So, you know, we'll see. We'll have a, like I said, follow-up video. We're going to be working on them. But uh, yeah, I think we've spent enough time on this one. So, let's go. Now this right here is completely useless to me. That is a lie. Capri Sun. Crimson Ore. <clears throat> or, if you don't have C. Rover Medin, or actually any of these arts down here, actually one, two, three, four, five, six, you know what? Seven and eight. <laughs> we'll say that. 200. This is crazy. Because the last time we got this, we had 222 spins. I want y'all to remember that. We had 220, we had 220 spins. They just gave us another 30 spins. Like, I was honestly expecting like 230 spins. They said, nah, 25 days, 10 summons each day, 250. Always love some free spins. If you're new, this is great for you. This is great. Summon every day. You never know. Now, mind you, nothing is on rate up. Right? None of these units are on rate up. It's all general pool units. <clears throat> but they're free summons. If you start and you're missing some units, you want to collect them all. Or maybe you're missing a couple of arcs, which, I mean, yeah, yeah, your main goal is you want to have the arcs. I'll be honest with you. The units are amazing, but the arcs, the arcs, you, you need to be able to teach the unit skills. Some arc share skills, you can, you, you get the message. 250 spins, love it. Let's move, you don't really need to dive into this, but let's go. <clears throat> All right, now. This caught me off guard today. Luckily, I caught it. But the New Year countdown is going on right now. Log in every day. Quest with great first clear rewards appear. Play to get great rewards. The quest is easy. You, you, you can literally solo it. You don't need <laughs> support. You don't even need a well-built character. Just do it. Just do the quest. Get it over with. Get the rewards. It's amazing. <laughs> Moving on. And then I'm, I'm not going to do the transitions that I probably did. Happy New Year 2022. Clear a holiday quest and get 3,000 crystals and a Kyle multiplayer stamp. This happens on December 31st. Between December 31st and January 12th. So we're having a maintenance on the 29th and a maintenance on the 31st. So... Yeah, that's, that was confusing me because I was like, I saw two different maintenance times. So, you get a day of play or a day and a half of play. And then you got another maintenance, but you're getting 3,000 crystals. And I think after maintenance with Sarah dropping, we should be getting another 1K. I remember Kit saying that we're getting 1K. I don't know if it's in game yet. I can actually check that for you right now. Let's see. And while we do that, we'll move on. Let me see. Actually, I'll set up the next slide. Actually, no, because... Yeah, let's see. Oh, yep, the in-game news is there. So, follow-up video will be made shortly. Following video will be made. Continue. Last Cloudy and New Year giveaway. I think they still have this going on right now. I think Kit said that they still have this going on. <clears throat> Prize guaranteed to be eligible. Play during the promo period and reach player rank 5 or higher. URs or other great items could be yours. Win up to a year's worth of crystals. 100,000 plus. That's not a year worth of crystals. Depending on how your luck is. Going to be completely honest with you. That's like just above. That's like 10k above a pity. Because they're not paid crystals, mind you. 
they're not paid crystals. They're free crystals. So like if you were thinking, oh, whenever they do a step up, I, I got three three paid pity three step up uh pities. No, these are free crystals. These are free crystals. That is a full on pity. That is a full on pity. That is a full on pity. Right? Cool. <clears throat> I'm not gonna really speak on this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a giveaway. You could win or you could lose. Now this, this right here, they bought it back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They bought. They're bringing it back, and I am excited because this right here, this right. Right here, that right there, Sun Festival Island, when they came around it during the Halloween, Halloween, I believe. Yeah, now when it came around for Halloween, man, I was farming like crazy. Oof. But I feel like I feel like the event reset. So, you know, finding the finding the little pokles and then finding the giant poke. Oh, my God. This this I'm just glad that they're bringing back this event and. Yeah, they're also bringing back tower, so I don't really care. I care about this more. Sun Festival, S Festival Sun Vessel Island is what matters. Tower doesn't matter, so we're probably gonna skip that. New Year's night. <clears throat> Wait, I just realized I said skip that. So back in the other slide, when I said that we're gonna skip that, when I mean skip it, I mean I'm just not gonna like go over it. Like yeah, tower's back. You will. <laughs> New Year's night. Now, if you don't know what tower is, yeah, I feel like I do need to explain it now. Or, you know what? I'll just, yeah. I got you. So, New Year's night. Shogatsu Pine Trident. Shogatsu Mochi Armor. And Shogatsu Ri. Play the event. Get exclusive gear. I'm going to assume that... Oh, well, we'll see their stats. We don't know any stats. They didn't show anything off. And, yeah. I think that's it. I know that they're bringing back... Well, yeah, you know, let me stop talking. Let's go. New Year Fishing. They bought back the fishing. Catch loads of fish on Sun Vessel Island to snag great rewards. Do it in the background while you're doing something else. And you're Gucci. Continue. <laughs> we gonna continue. We gonna, it's, it's, I don't want this video to be too long. It's already long from the recording that I got. Yeah, so I'm trying to trying to hit the good things so here get tons of new year's medals and you can get one of these three things now manky ray i like i use manky ray a lot it, i use i use him like whenever i'm leveling up units just just because like i throw them on they get that i think 20 percent xp boost 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 and uh you know it makes me feel like i'm doing something it might not but Manky Ray, I don't have either of these two. I don't believe I'd have to check. Actually, no, I don't. I definitely don't have any of these two. So, most certainly grind for this. Like, and you get these medals from doing the um, the daily event. Like, I think you. Let me see. Yeah, no, you get them from doing the daily event. I think I got. Yeah, I got a hundred already. You already get 100 for doing the one that's for today. That's for tonight when I'm recording this. So, hopefully you guys did it. Hopefully you guys did it. It's completely and totally worth it. You know what I'm saying? Nice nice little gear. You know, and they're free. You just got to do a little bit of grinding. You know, let's, let's go. So, Tower of Trials. Now, if you don't have Tower... If you don't know about Towers of Trials, they recently updated it. Well, not recently. It was a while ago. But we now have 90 floors. When you get to the 80th floor, right here, you get an arc called, um, obviously, uh, the Phantom Tower. Or the... I forget what it's called. That arc. It, the Tower Arc. That's what we'll call it. The Tower Arc. Um, it has, like, one or two decent skills on there. But it, it always comes back. You can always get Ether for it and level it up. Uh, 12 units. Uh, if you have some older units or some units that you want to level up passively this doesn't give like a lot but it gives a good amount of xp so if you just put them in, in the back row if you have a 
your first team can just go all the way through it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's different comps, different bosses. So, yeah. It's basically like a, a semi-boss rush. And then this, I'm not going to transition. I'm just going to, because that snap was, that clip was cool. New Year's sets in the shop. So, celebration set, 50 Mother Souls power materials. Then you have the one hero times 10 New Year's ticket and Stardust for UR. You get two. And uh, eight SSR, one Crimson Potion to get your units to level 80. So basically, this, as soon as you get a unit, they immediately go up to level 80. Right, you get 10 Ethereum, 200 Mother Souls, and more. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I believe this is... I think that's Shift Lord Kyle, or Night Lord Kyle on there. So I believe that this actually includes um, DOH units in its pool. The Elite. Out of all of these, I'm going to be honest with you. If you spend money, not win, if. All right, if. If you want to, if you feel the need to spend money, these two right here, these two right here are probably the best bang for your buck that you can get. These two right here. Best bang for your buck right here. Now, am I going to tell you to spend the money? No. The only time I'll tell you to spend money in this game is for the guaranteed UR arc. And the guaranteed DOH unit. That is the only two times. That was the only. That is the only time I'll tell you to spend money. Right. These two are not needed in any way, shape, or form. I'm not buying them. If you're a new player, if you're a newer player, and you want to, like I said, they're already giving you means of kickstarting. That's like free. It's already free. You don't need these. You don't need these. Or if you wanted to, I'd get this one because, again, you're getting another hero. You have the start dash. And then if you spend money on the guaranteed UR arc, any UR arc you get is good. Every UR arc in the game is worth it. The DOH hero, it depends on the one that you get. You know what I'm saying? A few of the old, um, yeah, a few of the oldies are still, like, very vi viable in the current meta. Like, you can still pull stuff off. There's hundreds of build videos. I'm working on a video for Ruto because I got axed to. <laughs> so I'm working on a video for Ruto. All right. And, you know, there's there's a lot. There's resources out there. Hella videos. You could follow. You could look for Tweaks' channel. You could check out Buddha's channel. There's there's ways of, of helping your account without spending money. That's what I'm trying to get at. But with that being said, let's move on. So 12 gifts of Christmas, you can't say I know it says two, but it's it's saying the 12 gifts of Christmas enter for a chance to win one of the 12 gift sets. This is for Twitter, I believe. So you go on Twitter, you uh, retweet their post, and you may get lucky and win something. That that's 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 pretty much it. <laughs> and then the Year of the Tiger, so I guess that's what Chinese New Year's is. I guess it's the uh, Year of the Tiger, which is, I think that's my year. I'll have to check that. So, yeah, Year of the Tiger giveaway. 22 lucky win winners will either get a $25 US gift co store gift code or a one or 1,000 crystals. 1,000 crystals. <laughs> With that being said, oh, yeah, right here. So... Made in a Binding Sarah release promo. I think this is how you actually enter the code. I mean, enter the um, giveaway. You have to, once you like, I guess you, they'll probably have you answer the questions. If not, then, you know, it's Divinity Shield. You can go back and watch the stream. Divinity Shield. I'll leave it up here for a second. Divinity Shield. And yeah. With that being said, yep. With that being said, that's pretty much it. And I know that the video is it's going to be shorter when you actually watch it. <clears throat> or if you made it to this part, thank you for stay, sticking this long. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But it's pretty much it. Real short, sweet. Kit did it by himself. Like I said, it was very good. Very entertaining. Um, They packed a lot into a little bit of time. And I'm all for it. 
Uh, they didn't announce anything about any collabs. They didn't uh, talk about any new changes coming. And, uh, yeah, I can't really say that. I mean, I would have hoped for a little bit more. I can't say I would have hoped for a little bit more because that's greedy. But I, I feel like for what we're getting for the year end slash year start, uh, I think they gave us a pretty decent amount. With that being said, yeah, it's your boy Dojo. And I'll catch you guys in the new year. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And then after, tom after tomorrow, catch y'all in the new year. It's your boy Dojo. Peace.